Morning folks, it's Connie from Faf Designs. I'm uh, I'm in the UK and I'm a brand ambassador for Dixie Bell Paint. Um, let me know if everything looks okay with the camera because I have bright sunshine outside today. It's just like summer. Um, so I am going to be continuing with this piece behind. Um, I started it on my live last week. Uh, morning. Hi. Hello, hello, hello. Let me know where you're watching from today. Hi, Alicia. Um, don't know if Dixie Bell, a.k.a. Chris Dorna, is going to be with us this morning. Um, she's skiving. Hi, Aaron. Uh, yeah, she's skiving. Let me know if the picture's okay. Or does it, does the camera need a little wipe? Let's have a look. Let's give you a little wipe. Better? Same. I think it's the sunshine. Morning, Jackie. Um, so, yeah, I don't know if Christiana's going to be here because she's skiving. Um, she doesn't, she doesn't like work, that one. But, but, uh, for all you Chris Dorner and Connie Clark um, duo fans out there, um, we are going to be are doing, attempting a joint live on Chris Dorner's Facebook page tomorrow at 6am EST. Um, so she is in Germany and it's 12 noon there and I'm in the UK and it's 11am here. So for ease of trying to get it across, it's 6am EST. So we're going to be just doing a joint live with some painting. I'm probably be doing this piece to be honest. I don't know yet, but we're just gonna have some fun with some paint and just be silly like we always are. So yeah, that'll be fun. So um, look out for that. I think Chris Dawn is gonna do something fancy. Um, fancy schmancy. So uh, good morning, hi Sue. Hi, I can see Sue Yifu is saying hi. Um, so yeah, Chris Dawn is absent today because she's skiving. Um, so, yeah, join us tomorrow on Chris Dorner's Facebook page at 6am EST for some bants. I'm just going to be silly and paint. Um, <laughs> yeah, I hope, hopefully Facebook will play with us and it'll let us do a joint live. That'll be funny. Hi, hello, 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 hello. Thank you for watching. Anyway, if you didn't catch me first time round, I'm Connie. I'm a very new brand ambassador for Dixie Bowl Paint and... I am in the UK. My business is called Faf Designs, which is tagged above my head in the description. Um, so if you could like and follow my page, that would be ace, because that would grow my following, and that helps me, and helps Dixie Bell, and helps all the things, so that'd be cool. So this piece behind, I don't know if you can see the lineup that we've got going on here. You know that I'm not afraid of colour. You know that I embrace colour, and I love colour. This piece behind is... Um, a little sort of chest that is basically it was chosen out of my unpainted inventory which i have quite a few unpainted pieces in various places uh lockups and storage units and things like that so my friend um who lives in the same village as me we've got kids similar age um they go to school together she has always been a fan of my work and has had a couple of piece, small pieces off me and she saw this and said it would be perfect for her lounge. So she's a colour lover as well, which is awesome. Hi from Sydney, Australia. Hello. Um, so if you didn't catch last week's live, I laid down a pretty boring brown base layer. Now, the reason for that is she has some oak furniture in her lounge sitting room, whatever it is, um, she doesn't let me in very often, um, that is a sort of like a pale oak colour. This originally was um, like a ready mahogany, yes, Aaron, this was the brown one from last week. Because she's a friend, uh, I'm taking my time with it, so I'm going to be doing this over a series of lives, a little bit like I did the parrot one, so there isn't going to be a step that I'm not going to do on Facebook, um, I hope. So yeah, and all of the lives will be uploaded to my YouTube channel and I'll, I'll, I'll write number one, two, three, four, whatever it is. Um, so that was like my parrot cabinet, I did that. So 
what was I saying? Yeah, I laid down some brown tones. There was pine cone. There was, uh, help me out. There was chocolate. What else was there? Coffee bean, a little bit of coffee bean. And I did a really sort of rough, this is not the new webcam. This is just my phone. Uh, the webcam, I haven't had time to even look at it. So, um, I laid those down in a really sort of like a, not even a blend, just like a rough layered sort of finish just to get the original mahogany ready, horrible. Oh yeah, mud puddle. Yeah. Cheers, Aaron. Um, just to get that tone lifted a little bit because this is going to be distressed and where the, where obviously it's going to be distressed. I didn't want that horrible, ready mahogany tone to come through. I wanted it to be a similar sort of tone to oak. So that was that. It's not going to be a massive feature, but I didn't want, like I say, the the wrong colour wood because we want it to kind of match your furniture. So my inspiration for this piece, and this is going to be featured in places on here, is the Boho Soul transfer from Dixie Bell. Um, you can purchase everything that I'm buying, uh, everything I'm buying, everything that I'm talking about in the link above my head, including this gorgeous transfer which has four sheets of four separate designs which are all made up of separate pieces so you can make your own sort of design if you like that that's why they're all separate so um instead of just being you know one one design and you kind of stuck with it these transfers from dixie bell have um there's only a couple that are sort of you know one designs where you'd sort of use it on a a piece most of them have their own little sort of separate elements if you like so this particular one and if you can see in fact let's just just get it out showing you a silly silly tiny picture so in each box for the transfers you get the transfer tool which is um, used for rubbing the transfers on um, that's that you get instructions with each one somewhere so does anybody else really like the smell of transfers when they're new is it just me <laughs> just me <laughs> um it's like that new book smell when the kids bring a new book home from school give it a quick sniff um so this tells you exactly how to use your transfers if you don't know but i do know so don't i'm not going to use it um, and I'm not going to be applying these today because I've got to get some, just me, okay, just me on that one. Um, going to get some colour down on this. And that's my reason for all the colour behind. But, like I say, there's a few pages in this. And there's loads and loads of separate elements, which I absolutely love about these transfers because you'll never get two the same, two designs the same. Now, she is a massive boho fan, so... This, I think she'll love. I'm gonna feature that on somewhere. And can you see those shades are quite pastel -y. Don't know if I'm gonna be using the pastel colors. Definitely gonna be using the black and white pieces because I think these will tie, because I'm using so much color, I think this will tie that sort of factor in if you like. I'm sorry for missing any comments. I'll come back to you like I always do afterwards when I'm when I've finished. And Chris Dorner is not here with us today because she's skiving. Just can't get the staff. Um, so yeah, and then the good thing about this chest is it's double sided, so the drawers slide all the way through. So th I'm not going to do the take the same design on both sides because that would be boring. So that's sheet two again, pastel colours. Not don't think I'm going to be using those. And then oh, we're on to the we're on to the colours. Look at these, look at them. I mean, that alone is just oh, skiving. Sorry, is that an English term? Uh, um, someone help me out. Skiving is uh, when you when you like bunk off work or school, and you're not. There's nothing wrong with you. She don't she don't want to work. She don't want to play with me. She doesn't love me anymore. She doesn't love me anymore. Um, so those colours alone are just absolutely gorgeous so these this sheet is what i've taken my inspiration from like throwing a sickie yes yes exactly um but she was just like 
Slacking off. Yeah, that's exactly it. Bunking off. There we go. Yes, thank you. Um, so these are the colours uh, that I'm going that I've taken my inspiration from for this piece. Yeah, you've got it, Aaron. Skipping work. Yeah, that that she's doing that. But she, I bet she's drinking like coffee somewhere in the sunshine. So it's got some oranges. It's got some teals. This one's got it all going on. I love that. Look, the tiny weeny little birds. I mean, how cool is that? So that is the main sheet that I've used for, and I can see some purples, aquas. This one is particularly gorgeous as well. This one has got some really beautiful colours. More jewel tones and there's a pink in that. So I haven't actually decided what colours I'm going to use on this chest. I'm thinking the main body of it, so not the drawers, um, <laughs> some English lessons. Yeah, but like colloquials, not like proper, not the Queen's English, the slang, the Midland slang, because that's where I'm from. I'm from the very middle of the UK. So we, near Birmingham, if anybody watches Peaky Blinders, um, I am not far from Birmingham, actually. I can do quite a good Birmingham accent, but I'm not going to, because that would be silly. <laughs> So yeah, I'm, I'm quite near Birmingham, which is in the centre of the UK. So not the proper Queen's English. No, not the Queen's English. Um, yeah, we've got, we've got all the colours. So I'll go through them and I haven't actually decided if I'm going to use them all. But these are the colours that I've just pulled together out of my cabinet. So we have, you're hovering here. What, you want me to do with Birmingham accent? now um so we've got peacock which is pff, it's a gorgeous color one of my all-time faves we've got curdle mustard florida orange holy guacamole limeade plum crazy and aubergine peaky blinders uh, so cock you up a bit I was thinking, for the main body of this, hear me out, I'm thinking peacock. Now, I don't know if it's my calling card or what, but we're going, we're going heavy with the black wax on this. So all of the colours are going to be kind of pulled together with black waxes. Um, I was thinking peacock for the main body. And this is why my friend is awesome, because she was like, y'all do what you want. She's not brummy, really. But um, I'm going to keep throwing that in. Um, who's your favourite character out of Peaky Blinders? Mine's Arthur, because he's a psycho. Um, oh, that was a lolly stick. Um, so I might even mix a couple of colours. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I just feel like these are these are the colours that are kind of going to kind of going to go with it. So, shall we get some peacock on the main body and then see what happens from there? Um... Chris Dorner quite often messages me and says, can you just send me a message in your, or like a voice message in your Birmingham accent? Um, yeah, whatever. <clears throat> in fact, interesting fact, my mum, my mum's best friend's dad knew of the Peaky Blinders, the real blinders. Interesting fact for you. So I am going to be using this because I've just found it to the right of me, this chip brush. And I also want, because I've laid down on top of the browns, I did um, a sort of white, stippled, textury, sea spray, sort of not full coverage look. Again, to pull it all together because there will be so many colours on here that when it's distressed, that white will be sort of like a continuity underneath. Um, so I'm just going to put some peacock with this premium chip brush uh, because we kind of want, I want it sort of boho-y, wishy-washy, um, not wishy-washy, that's the wrong, that's the wrong term, wishy-washy suggests like washed out, it's not going to be washed out, it's going to be bold colours but sort of uh, distressed and not full coverage so i don't know if you can see there can you see that how i've just left a bit of white peeking through 
in my head this is how it's going to sort of pull it all together because it's got the continuity of the white and the base coat of the brown although i am going to be using a lot of colour, I'm hoping that that will pull it all together with the black wax on top and then we're going to be using the transfers. Um, and like I say, I think what I really want to do is not make both sides the same because that would be boring. So if, like, you know, she wants to spin it round, the other side will be a bit different. That's my plan, anyway. <clears throat> hello belinda hi i'm i'm going solo today i'm a lone wolf chris dawn has just left me high and dry um anybody else got a favorite peaky blinders character yeah arthur's ace isn't he he's good and he's also got the most convincing birmingham accent because some of them it's a bit dubious i'm not gonna lie <clears throat> Not that Peaky Blinders has got absolutely anything to do with what I'm doing now. Uh, that was just a bit of a, a bit of a random. I'm just going to push these in a little bit so that I get a. I don't get any blow on the drawers. So we're just I'm sort of going over the sea spray. And that was actually a sea. The sea spray was mixed with a bit with um, a little bit of leftover fluff. And yeah, I know the accents are shocking, aren't they? Hi, Jackie. Jackie's my PA. Um, the accents are pretty shocking. When I when I didn't watch it first time round when it all came out and it was really popular, um, and I was like, nah, not really that fussed about it. Um, but then, obviously, people were going, oh, you've got to watch it, it's brilliant, it's brilliant, it's brilliant. Literally, the, one of the first things that I said to Andy when I turned it on was like, that's not a very good Birmingham accent. So, yeah, I'm about, um, I don't know, about four, 40 minutes away from Birmingham, or half an hour if I'm driving. Forty minutes if Andy's driving, he's like Miss Daisy. Yeah, so uh there we go. Right, so I think um I am I am feeling peacock. I'm definitely feeling this. And she's got quite a lot of sort of teals and stuff in her lounge anyway. So if I miss any of the comments today. Um, blame Chris Dorner because she's not here. Um, but I'll come back to you. I'll I'll read them all, and I'll come back to you at the end. I'm going so late today, I'm like a lone wolf. There we go. <clears throat> I'm just varying how much paint I'm putting on here so that it's not um, sort of all the same because I do want to distress it all back and that'll be done before I put the transfer on. Um, you can distress the transfers but I don't want that look on this particular piece. I want the distressed piece first and then the transfers are going to be last I think. I think. Right, so I've got Peacock. I'm obviously going to do the rest off camera. Mainly because I can't turn this because it's on my big, it's on my workbench and um, can't. Shh, Chris Dawn is a bad influence on any everybody. But yeah, if you didn't catch the start of this video, um, if you enjoy a bit of a laugh and painting at the same time, uh, Chris Dawn and I, by popular demand, are doing a joint live tomorrow on Chris Dorner's page. Um, I think I've just wiped some blue on my face. Uh, at 6am EST. 
So I could be doing this piece. I might be doing something else. Who knows? I haven't decided yet. Right. So out of the colours up here, which are those? First comment I see, I'm going with. Tell me. Tell me what colour to go with. And then if it looks rubbish, I can blame you lot. And my friend, I'll be blame free. Dynamic duo. I'll, I'll tell her to put that in, in the title. I'm waiting for the first comment of what colour. There we go, mustard. <clears throat> Fastest finger first was Rachel. Right, I'm getting, I'm just getting some random brushes. Oh, here we go. My fave, the mini. Um, okay, Colonel Mustard. I'll shake it up because I don't know how long it's been sitting there. It's been a while since I've done mustard. Must have to do that soon. I still haven't oiled my seat. You're all too late. I'll do it again in a minute. <laughs> I'm going with mustard. Mustard is my choice. So I'm going straight over the texture with this. I'm not using any water because I sort of want areas of almost dry brushing, not dry brushing, but you know, lesser, lesser coverage, if that makes sense. So I'm going for a, a very sort of boho-y, distressed look. There we go. I put the lid back on. That was. I better put the lid back on. Okay, so there's obviously four drawers, but they're double sided. So even if all the colours don't get used on this side, I can always do it on on t'other. Okay, so what colour next? Should we go? Oh, what about purple? you doing a Chris Dorner impression thank you thank you okay um I feel like not orange because orange is a bit close to that so orange is gonna have to maybe go over there so either green or purple or oh, there is pink pink where's my peony should we do should we do peony Hang on. Pink to match my t-shirt. Yeah. Pink. Didn't why didn't I get this colour out? I'm not sure. This is a new tub as well. Fill to the top, look at that. Um another brush. This one will be okay. Oh, it's wet. I've just used that. Hang on. Let me get a dry one. Not that you can't use a wet brush, but I'm using a dry one for the effect that I want. I want full coverage and I want it to uh, be varied in terms of thickness. So I want some of the white peeping through, which I'm going to achieve through distressing as well. But... Um, if you are distressing something heavily, sometimes it really helps to vary the thickness of the paint so that when you do distress, it looks a little bit more authentic instead of all being the same and it all distresses the same. Um, if you vary the thickness of your paint, it just helps it look a little bit more authentic. So also, I generally tend to leave it thinner around the edges, so I've got better coverage in the centre and leading out into almost patchy bits around the edge because 
that's where it would wear naturally. Um, you know, where it would get banged and stuff. Um, sorry, Jackie, did you say holy guacamole? A thousand pardons. Now, my only problem with holy guacamole is it's a more muted tone. And that's cool because I really love the colour. But is it going to be too muted for this? I don't know. Let's have a go. Let's see. Because I can always dry brush a brighter green over the top. This is the joy of working on my friend's items. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> um, let's find another brush. That transfer is now in my way. Um... Oh, here we go. Here's another. Oh, here's a brand new oval medium. That's a brand spanker, that is. That's hardly been used. And that's dry. So let's go. Which one? Top or bottom with holy guacamole? I'm feeling bottom. Should we go bottom? Let me just poke the drawer out of touch. There we go. I'm not going to get any... Uh, green on the peacock bits oh jackie you say top you want top but pink and green though you know how much i love pink and green i'm doing bottom you can't stop me hair in it there if you do buy these brushes new and um you think there's there's something wrong with them if they shed a few bristles it's not that's completely normal so this is literally brand spanking new. i think i've used it once with silk that's why it's stuck on the handle um but it, it is normal for these to shed a couple of brush uh, bristles um the best thing to do is actually wash them before you use them which i didn't because i was just just couldn't wait. Right, so that's holy guacamole, and I actually really like it. I was going to mix it with a different, with maybe a bit of limeade, but I think I, I think I like it as it is. Okay, last draw. Morning, Mary. Hi. I'm a lone wolf this morning. Chris Dawn had dumped me. Okay, so out of the remaining colours, we have Florida Orange, Plum Crazy and Aubergine. Shall we do a Plum Crazy and Aubergine mix? Because I feel like aubergine might be a bit dark on its own, especially if we're going with black wax over the top. I like this, you telling me what to do. Stops my brain hurting. Shall we do a mix? Or shall we just go straight in with Plum Crazy? Or I might even mix it just on the drawer front instead of having to mix it in a pot. You like the mix idea? I love mixing Dixie Bell paint. If I can get my lids off. No, Jackie, I'm not going orange. I can't do orange next to mustard. I just... No, I'm going to have to do orange on the other side. <clears throat> right. I am going to use this. It's slightly damp, but that's okay because this one, I feel like I am going to blend it in in a sec with a bit of aubergine because this colour is quite close to peony um, and I wanted, I don't want two colours to be too similar so yeah I'm going to wax some of this on and then I'm going to get some aubergine on. Purples are not a colour that I use a lot of, um, don't know why. I actually quite like them 
quite pretty. But I'm always drawn to blues and greens. Automatically. Well, that looks like something a child has done behind me, but you've got to bear with me and trust the process. And if she hates it, well, that's just tough. <laughs> she's she's going to keep it. I'm just going to get some water um, in my mister. Um, yeah, Plum Crazy's cool, isn't it? I'm just going to spritz that Plum Crazy a little bit because I'm going in with the same brush. Probably not best practice, but, you know. I'm going to just mix it on the drawer itself for a bit of a rough mix because I'm too bone idle to go and get a pot and also I only need a tiny weeny bit of paint to do these drawers so mixing paint in a pot there I can be precise when I want to be but this is just a bit of fun So I feel like that has now made that a slightly different colour to the peony. It's a bit, you know, there's a bit more, a bit more of a gap between the two colours. Um, and it's not mixed perfectly. There's still patches of, of lighter where it's not mixed as heavily with the aubergine. And so it's, it's very tonal, which is good. Um... Yeah, I think aubergine on its own probably would have been way too dark, especially uh, especially with the black wax over the top. I think it would have been very, very dark. Um, so just a tad in Plum Crazy has just deepened that colour in sort of, it's working with the sort of jewel tones. Um, yeah, those two colours are ace, aren't they? Holy guacamole and that little mix of Plum Crazy and aubergine together. I am liking that. So, yeah, that's cool. So, that's all I've got for you, really, today, because I can't do much else without standing behind there, and you won't see me, and I can't move the table around because it's too big and awkward, and I've got a fingerprint on there now. There we go. So, I am fully aware that that looks like something a primary school child has done. In fact, my kids are going to love it because they love a bit of colour as well. But this is the base of something that is going to be heavily distressed and hopefully the piece will be pulled together be with the base layers underneath of the brown and the white. It will hopefully pull it together and then we're going to be putting the transfer on. I'm kind of, I might be feeling a transfer across here. So you can use transfers over drawers. Um, you can You can cut them. Uh, and use them you know if a drawer runs out so where's the black and white one there so yeah maybe we could put the black and white one across there so it will involve cutting it several times but I think that might pull it together as well what do you reckon Cool thing about this is you can colour it in if you want to as well. So you could paint this if you if you're doing it on a more plainer piece. I don't think I'll be painting it because the piece is pretty wild as it is. But you can paint these, so you can transfer it on the piece, and then you can add your own colour, which is amazing. How cool is that? So I think yeah, I think I might be putting like a central piece, the black and white. Uh, sorry, just the black pieces on the front. And then I think I might put the pops of colour possibly on the sides. But I'll be doing that on a live as well. So I'll shove that over there. So yeah, that's it for today. Um, cheers for watching. I know it's early for some of you, so thanks very much for that. Um, this, by the way, is a work in progress. So don't judge me. This is not the finished <laughs> not the finished piece um and if you wanted to buy any of the products that i've used today you can in the affiliate link above my head um every time you buy something from that link i earn a small commission from the sale um which helps me 
get paid for what I do basically um so that's that for today and I, like I say I'm going to carry on this piece on my lives if you miss any of them I'll be uploading them onto my YouTube channel um and you can watch them back to back and unmute them or fast forward them if you don't want to listen to me going on um and I'll catch some of you tomorrow on Chris Dorner's page at 6am EST see you there bye